It's coming home. Three words to give most Scotsmen a dry boke. Cards on the table here. I can't bring myself to support England in the World Cup. Ever. Why? I'm Scottish. End of. It's not because of some deep-rooted hatred of the English. It's just rivalry. Why can't England just enjoy the moment though? No sooner had Eric Dia stroked home the winning penalty against Colombia to set up a clash against Sweden than ITV commentator Clive Tilsley was at it again. By the time England faced Sweden in the quarterfinal of the World Cup 2 of Uruguay, France, Belgium and Brazil will already be on the way home. Bring it on, image Getty Images Europe, England should underestimate Sweden at the peril. After all it was Scandinavian opposition in Iceland who put pay to Roy Hodgson's side at Euro 2016. The three lines are already plotting who they are going to meet. In the semis with either Croatia and Russia lying in wait. But they do well to remember this is a Swedish team who did for Holland in the qualifiers. Then took out Italy over two legs in the playoffs before seeing off holders Germany in the group stage. I get that the English are becoming overexcited about winning the World Cup. If anyone has the right to savour it all it's head coach Gareth Southgate. Image Reuters, why Wimbledon's All England Club has become the anyone but England club he was made the scapegoat. During Euro 96 when his missed penalty against the Germans cost England a place in the final. Bearing in mind when Southgate stepped up that night while others didn't, he had only taken one penalty in his career for Crystal Palace, and missed. It pains me to say this but I actually quite like Southgate. He seems like a decent guy. Although this tweet by an English fan rather wonderfully sums him up. We salute you Gareth Southgate. You mild-mannered, waistcoat wearing, self-deprecating, modest, articulate, calm, sensible, measured, dignified, tidy bearded f asterisk 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 g beauty, call it poetic justice, call it fate but there was something beautiful about Southgate becoming the first English boss to win a World Cup shootout. Only the hardest of Scottish hearts would have denied him his penalties. Redemption more than two decades on from his darkest England moment. Image PA, nobody has worked harder than Southgate to unite the English team and the notorious media. To work for the common goal, lifting the famous gold trophy on July 15th. What irritated me more was his response to being asked for the umpteenth time about Euro 96. It will never be off my back, it will live with me forever. Hopefully this will give belief to the generations of players who follow. Now that is a real touch of class from the Englishman and there is no easy way of saying this but Southgate has made the England team likeable again. That is no mean feat. He also looks like a man on a crusade. By turning his own personal trauma into a life lesson and using it as an inspiration to lead his nation to World Cup glory. If football really does come home and England to the unthinkable it would be hard not to feel some sort of happiness for Southgate but not many others. So here is a memo to Clive Tilsey, Glenn Hoddle, Ian Wright, Gary Neville, Gary Lineker. Al who have lost the plot so much they've no e care what's going on. Com and or com IGEN. That's Swedish for bring it on. Football has not come home just yet lads.